bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Cause Beer Review. Oh, my dog's gonna get angry. <laughs> Hello again. And welcome to French Whores Beer Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm J- J- Jeff. J- 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Tonight we have a beer from the Fox Farm Brewery out of Salem, Connecticut. We had a visit there a couple years ago. Yeah. Very nice visit. Very nice brewery. Highly recommend going to visit there. Um, just a nice, nice place with very good beers. Uh <laughs> This one is called Veridescence. I'm glad you can say it because I can't. It's a Southern Hemisphere double IPA. It's 8.4%. And Jeff's going to tell you a little bit about this This beer. This used to be, uh, this is a tuned up version of Verid, which used to be Verdant. Uh, It uses Nelson Savine, or Savine hops, or Savin hops. Um, Other than that, they don't really tell you a whole, whole lot. It's... They say Southern Hemisphere hops and then backed up with Australian hops. That's pretty much all I can tell you about. 8.4% alcohol by volume. Scott pours pretty shitty usually, so I'm sure he'll get way more than me. I did this one pretty good. Give you that back end pour. Nice job. Canned on June 24th. It is July July 9th 9th right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so a couple weeks old in the description down below you can find our social media links most importantly subscribe hit the notifications bell and join us on untapped it's a great application to check in your beers we are FHBR at the end of the review we do a recap read our friends scores give our average and the global average that's all folks we're going to smell it see you next time French we're going to look at it smell it taste it give it a score I thought we were skipping that. It looks a little dirty. Slightly dirty. Dirty? It's it's hazy. It's hazy, but it's got like a... Not so bright. Like a, <laughs> it's not bright. Not so bright. But like almost... Dull? You think it looks dull? Yeah, green? I do. Not almost green. green. Not green like young, but green like green. The yeah. Yellowish green. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tiny, tiny bubbles... Tiny bubbles. <laughs> How does it Ooh, smell? Dank. Oh, this is not like a bag of celery. Oh, celery. <laughs> cucumbers. Cucumbers and melons. Oh my. And celery. It is dank. It's like a bag of celery. <laughs> not quite. No. Damn. Smells good. I've had this, but I haven't had it in a few weeks. Me? It smells even. I probably haven't had it either. More impressive. It's got a vegetal thing vegetal, going on. Yeah, for sure. No bell peppers. <sighs> wow. It's so hops are fucking amazing. The variety and it just. Cheers. He's overwhelmed. I am. It's emotion. I'm emotional about it. My shirt's getting tight on my arms about it. It's because you work out. No. <laughs> it's because I eat and I drink. Cheers. Cheers. Verdant. Veridescence. Sorry, not Verdant. That was the old one. Almost like... I'm almost getting like a mint... I'm getting like a mintiness. It's not quite pine though. It's like, but it's not mint either. Almost like a little funk to it, like a slight funkiness. It's a very unique tasting beer for sure. The alcohol is hidden perfectly. I don't know. It's damn good though. I like it a lot. It is good, but it's vegetal. Yeah, it has some character to it. Definitely the melon. It's not like citrusy or anything like that. Cucumber, melon, green, and a little it's danky, a, yeah. little dank, vegetation, weed-ish. herbal, something in there. A little dank, 
dank cucumber melon mm -hmm. very different very un it gets unique points for sure <sighs> all right i will give this one a 418 <laughs> really yeah <laughs> <sighs> Uh, <laughs> four two two. <laughs> you cheap bastard. <laughs> it's a four two, <laughs> right? <laughs> Son of a bitch. It really gets it like the. It gets a lot of points for being so it, unique. It gets a a tenth of a point bump for being like almost hard to describe, but right. um. But we, but we did our best. Yeah. We are going to switch over to the untapped recap, and uh, we will see you in uh, 30 six, seconds. Six, six. Two and two. Six seconds. Six and six. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not 12. Six seconds. Damn it. <laughs> Hello again, and welcome back to the French Oil's Bear Reviews Untapped Recap for Fox Farm Brewing Company out of Salem, Connecticut. Veridescence, double IPA, Southern Hem Hemisphere hops, uh, exclusively pretty much. 8.4% alcohol. What do we got? Three friends checked it in. It's about time we get one. We haven't had one tonight. Yeah. Mark Larson uh, gave it a four because he drank it out of the can in a koozie. Ah, uh, you Ma get it. Mark, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> like, pour your beer into like a Yeti cup, or uh, you shouldn't be drinking this beer out of the can. <laughs> it would have been a four and a quarter for you had you been able to smell the beer and um, a little bit disappointed, to be honest. You, we expect more from you. Uh, Brian G. gave it a nice hard pour, as well as a 4.25. Paul Sprafk, Sprafk, we're not sure how the hell to say that. If you could give us some pointers, some pointers that would be, uh, you know, well appreciated. Uh, a four and a quarter. All right. Uh, 1,483 other people. I'm shocked that there's that many check-ins. I am, too. This was... Uh, and on June 24th. Yeah. They gave it a uh, 437. We were a 4.2. Yeah. So we were right in the right in the ballpark. They were a little low. We were a little lower than everybody else, but it happens. And as as we did this review and looked at the uh untapped recap information, we realized we have done quite a few Fox Farm beers and there will be a playlist coming soon on YouTube. So, as we uh, accumulate more reviews. We're closing in on 500. We will be making more playlists as we get, you know, six or eight from each brewery, and uh, that way, you know, you can you can run right through a playlist and just keep that thing going on a loop and fall asleep to it. It's great. It's yep. great for us. So thanks for checking in, guys. We will see you next time. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hawks.